Oh, oh hey guys, I'm just working on my bucket list. Maybe you can help me. I'm trying to weed it down to the top 10. Thousand. Nah, I guess I can mark out a few that I know will never happen. Like, climb Mount Everest, watch the Titans win a Super Bowl, and join a hardcore band. I'm thinking we should sound like a mix between Death Cab for Cutie and the Postal Service. No, we're not gonna sound like Owl City. We're gonna be the next big hardcore band. Oh, please. Another under oath wannabe, I'm sure. No thanks. No, no, we're gonna we're gonna have high screams and low screams and like melodic choruses and we're just gonna be revolutionary and Oh yeah, we're just gonna be next under earth. Yeah. Beat free bird on expert, impossible. Switch up my hand motions when doing these videos, not gonna happen. I'm making a bucket list because I had a terrifying thought this week. Every single second that passes brings me one second closer to my death! <laughs> and there's a lot of things that I need to get done quickly because on average, I only have 50 to 60 years left. And that's assuming that I don't get hit by a car, get some kind of rare disease, or get shot in the head when the dollar collapses and somebody comes to my house and steals my supply of beanie weenies. Do you ever think about how you're gonna die? Well, you better start because worrying about it is really constructive. I call it schizo thinking. It's where you think not in realities, but in very, very likely possibilities. And you're nuts if you think that schizo thinking is only applicable to death. I apply it to my relationships all the time. Hey, I had a lot of fun at the park today. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Pretty fun? I thought we had a lot of fun. Did she have any fun at all? Or was she just humoring me all day? She did take a long time in the bathroom that one time while we were there, and then she was texting someone when she came out! Who was she texting? Was she telling them how bored she was? Oh my gosh, my brain is going downhill quickly! I have to do something to recover! So, how was the potty text? Uh, I mean, I also apply this incredible level of critical thinking to the general direction of my life. Here's a general rule. Everything that you do, Psychoanalyze it for months. Never have peace with any of your decisions because you never know when you'll need to regret one down the line. One time I found a $20 bill on the ground. I asked the guy if it was his. He said yes, he took it. I don't think it was really his. I drove a car through a barn and it blew up. One day I went to school. A guy called me four eyes, so I gave him black eyes. I gave a homeless guy my last dollar and I couldn't get anything off the value menu at Mickey D. All right, let's see if I can knock out one of these while I'm filming this, okay? Let's, oh, here we go. Learn the Macarena. That should be easy, all right? You guys don't mind if I practice while I'm talking, do you? Maybe we'll all die at the same time, like in a nuclear explosion or a mass genocide or something like that. You can never know what's gonna happen, and that's why you have to run through every single scenario in your mind so that you can be prepared for anything, like me. And when my time does come, I will die with dignity. One day, I went to school, and I got me four eyes! One day, I went to school, I got called me four eyes, I gave him black eyes. 